Ladies and gentlemen, wide yeah, out! Yeah. Now we're oh. ready to rock. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, first of all, you're awesome, brother. I appreciate you being here, chilling, hanging with us today. For those that are watching that may not know who you are, can you properly introduce yourself? Let me know where in the bouts in the world you are at the moment. Plug and promote anything and everything. Yo, what's up, everybody? It is your boy, my fucking White Owl official, coming out of Columbus, Georgia, or somewhere near that area. Pretty much been the bum fuck of nowhere, so I gotta say Columbus, Georgia, so people kind of remotely know what the fuck I'm talking about. But uh, what you yeah. want to what you want to plug, and then also toss out your uh, social media links. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, really, all you got to do is Google me. Like, I'm on Google and all that shit. Just Google me. It's got all my stuff on there. Like, uh, fucking hit me up on uh, Facebook, you know, Instagram, all that good stuff. Just look up White Owl Official. Should be the first thing that pops up. Hell, yeah. Dude, uh, how long have you been making music for? And then at what point in your career did you decide that the mass was going to be part of your repertoire? Uh, I mean, I've been making music for a long time, to be honest with you, but I was just bullshitting with it. And then, um, and then when I finally did make the mask, I was like, well, shit. And I come up with my gimmick, I put on the suit and I had my mask on. I was like, fuck, I mean, this is gold. I have to fucking run with it. So and here we are, you know, it's been about, it's been about like four, maybe five years now since I like, you know, put my whole heart into it and everything I got, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. So as soon as, as soon as the suit and the mask came on, that kind of like clicked for you. Like I'm, I'm going to take this more seriously as uh like actually putting a little more effort into the music, put like investing in yourself, that kind of thing. Is that what you mean? Yeah, most definitely. Like, cause like beforehand I wasn't doing shows or nothing like that. And, you know, now I'm doing shows, I got music videos, I got multiple songs on, you know, major streaming platforms and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, it's just ever since ever since then, you know, I've just been putting a lot more time, money and, yeah, I guess effort into everything that I'm doing. Hell yeah. What could someone, let's say uh, someone has never seen your live performance. What could they expect from from a live show from you? Um, wear elbow pads, knee pads, and probably a helmet because you're probably going to get hit in the face. So it's it's an energetic, <laughs> rough show for sure. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's awesome. I dig it. Hell yeah. Uh, we we jam already already did it a whole bunch, which I think is probably one of my favorite records that you have. But uh, what's a what's a personal record of yours that we may not be super familiar with? Maybe it's not even in your live set that just means something to you. Um, probably Cold 626. For one, I love doing that one when it's live because all the screaming in it, you know. Mm. Like, I already, I already did it's more of a laid-back, chill song, you know what I mean? It's not necessarily chill, but, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's got energy, but it's, it's more groovy. And Cold's more, uh... It cold is a lot more heavier in my opinion. And I like the heavy shit. Who who made you want to be an MC in the first place? Like talking when like your younger years. Like who made you want to pick up a microphone and just start rapping? Have you ever heard of Head PE? Of course. Jared yeah, and the boys? Yeah, the lead Jared, Yes, dude. Yes, man. I had a conversation like I was just bullshitting around. And I was just curious. It, like, I was always a fan. And like I said, I've always been into music, writing poems and, and rapping on beats and stuff like that. Like, I've even been in a rock band before. But, um, fucking, uh, damn. What, what'd you I play in just, the rock band? Just, would you, just like, real quick question. What'd you play in the rock band? Uh, I played guitar and sang. Okay, cool. But yeah, what, what did yeah, Jared yeah, say yeah, to you, what, though? 
But yeah, yeah. Uh, I hit him up in a message, and I was like, "Hey, man, how much would it cost me to get you on a song?" He's like, eight hundred bucks." And I was like, "Damn, like, there's money to be made in this shit. Like, let's go all in." <laughs> I, I <laughs> For sure. Him but because I was a broke bitch, but uh, yeah. <laughs> It's funny you say broke too, because my favorite hippie album is broke. Yes, I love that album, man. I love that album. Uh, it's so good. I, I seen them, I seen them live uh, a couple times, but one time in particular in Orlando, and I got to hang out with the band for a while. Man, this is like this had to been like sixteen years ago, and uh, he made like a really funny joke about Otep because Otep was playing with them that night, and he hated he hated Otep. Um, I don't need to say what the joke was, but. Uh, shout out to Otap, shout out to Heavy E and Jared. Hell yeah. Dude, what what can we expect from you between now and the rest of the year? What do you have planned out that you're allowed to tell us about? Um right now all I'm all I'm talking about is doing these shows, man. I I want to I want to be out there on the road doing these shows, man. I'm trying to trying to book as many shows as I possibly can right now. I mean, I've got some, I've got some, I've got some stuff lined up as far as music and stuff like that. You know, maybe, a, maybe a music video here or there, but, uh, but mainly right now, man, I, I just want to, I just want to be on stage. For the, for the music video, is it, is it a future single that we haven't heard or is it something that's just hot right now that just doesn't have a video? No, it's going to be a brand new song. Is there any timetable you can tell us when we could expect the new song? Not necessarily the video, but maybe the song would come before the video. I don't know. Um, no, I'm gonna drop what I got in mind. I'm gonna drop this song with the video. Hell yeah! But I've got some may come out before then. Before then, it's just it's, it's. I'm just basically just trying to trickle it out right now and take a break. And like I said, you know, like I've got. If someone if someone wanted you to feature on their song, how what's the best route for them to go about hitting you up to uh, to to possibly pay you for a verse? Um, hit me up on Facebook, man. Uh, either uh, look for Matt Bunch or uh, White Owl Official and uh, shoot me a message. If you can't get me on Facebook, I got my link tree right there on all my pages. Just click on my link tree and, and you can find me on Snapchat, bro. What was it like playing shows with Twisted and did you get to hang out with them? Uh, I, man, I'm a real, real reserved and quiet person, you know. I felt I felt like it would be disrespectful for me to to be trying to chop it up with the big name artists because I'm a fucking Twisted fan, bro. I'm a big Twisted fan. I love Twisted. Oh, yeah. But uh, at the same time, there's there's people out there in the audience that paid like 700 bucks, 500, 700 bucks to uh, have these VIP passes to actually sit down and have a conversation with Twisted. And all I'm doing is jumping on stage and screaming at people. You know what I mean? So I, I didn't really want to bother them too much. I did talk to a few of the guys. But like I wasn't really trying to bother him. But man, being on stage at a Twisted show is fucking amazing. I bet. Oh, Hell yeah, crazy energy. Uh, have, have you personally watched any of the videos that I've posted about it? Yeah, for sure. It's it's like lit the whole time. Hell yeah, dude! It was so fucking wild, man. If you notice in the video, even the camera guy was in on it, bro. He was <laughs> fucking damn with the uh, perfect timing. On certain parts with those lights, man, everybody was eating it up. I loved it, bro. I was on fucking fire that night. As soon as I got off stage, though, man, after all the fucking screams, as soon as I got off stage, like, I fucking fell the fuck out right as soon as I walked off stage. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you... So, you played a couple shows with them, didn't you? Mm-hmm. How, what was... Well, walking off the stage the first time, uh, does it just feel... Like, what's the feeling like? Like, maybe maybe there's a band watching there or an artist watching that hasn't had that experience yet. Could you just share on, like, what it felt like to play to, I'm assuming, like, a sold-out show, a full crowd, everyone's just jamming to your music. You're talking to fans after the show. Like, what is that experience like? 
man. This is this is the kicker, okay? So my motto is, is if you're going to do something, kick the fucking door in and them come in that bitch screaming and swinging, right? So uh fucking this that was my first show in Atlanta with Twisted. How many total did you do with Twisted? I've done two so far, two shows total. Hell yeah. That's awesome. And, 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 and the first that was that was popping my cherry and uh and like marking went off on my bucket list, doing one with Twisted. So dude, after I got off of that stage and like I got off stage and everybody was it was in it, man. They were loving it. And I get off stage and everybody in the crowd basically just bum rushes me and they're like, Yo, can I have an autograph? Can you take a picture with me? And I'm just like, are you kidding? Yes, bro. Yes. Like, I love it. I wouldn't try to tell anybody that this is my first time, but man, like everybody else that was an artist there could definitely tell that that was my first time being on stage and actually being in that environment, bro. It was mind blowing. I loved it. That is cool. Awesome. I can't tell you. (laughs) Well, we're going to jam. We're going to jam one of your songs here in a second. But before we do, did you bring the hot sauce? Oh, fuck. I did. What you got? Tell me what you brought. I fucking, I did bad too, bro. Hold up. <laughs> it all counts. Okay, cool. This is a little bit of a loophole. Chili peppers. I actually have some chili peppers as well. So I'll match you right here. If no, I... no, no. These are Tabasco peppers. Oh, so you got them hot hots. Yeah, yeah. This is hot, bro. See, like, like. Uh, All right, I'll tell you what. To, to kick it up a little bit, I'll put some hot sauce on one of my chili peppers. I'll put some chili ghost pepper hot sauce if I can't stump you on a pepper. But to do the trivia, here's the thing. You have the advantage. What movie or TV show, and I see a silhouette in the background of someone smoking, so you have some additional help, and that's okay. But what movie (laughs) or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, it's impossible I stump you because you've seen it so many times. Oh, man. Uh... Shit. Um, Batman. Batman? Like the Michael Keaton Batman? Uh, any Batman. Because I see you got a Batman right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, is there is there a particular... Like, you can pick whatever Batman movie you want if there's a particular one that you just know, there's no way I got you. Uh... Let's uh let's go with uh Batman Forever. Batman Forever. Okay. Give me a second That's to look up. look up uh trivia on that. What song would you like us to play of yours uh while I look up the trivia? Let's see. Uh let's go with let's do cold, man. Let's do cold. I like that one. Cold six two six right here. We're hanging out with yeah. White Owl. Please, if you guys are feeling it, support him. Hit the follow button, show him some love, and let's jam it right here. You're automatically on the poll, of course, because you're our guest today. And I gotta look up this trivia real quick. I love mother homies think that I got some hella problem, and I might just figure out the kind of way to go with something that's a threat to a lot of hoes and they motherfucking mama. But I bet you's a bitch ass, so when you don't do nothing about it, I'ma run my mouth and bet it go up here and stop it saying that you saw it in a boss and you don't fall when I spit in my bomb going off like the least that you expect, and I'ma cause they kid it for, and I'm highly anticipated. Watch me kill it, watch me cut it, watch me bury it. rappers up and fucking hate it. Fuck your cousin, fuck your neighbor, let me out. Been busting on these bitches like a pimple first, I didn't get it far from. Dude, right, I'm up a motherfucking rocker. Let go. I got it written down, Lizzie. Let go. 
Do you like doing all the screaming stuff live? That's why it's one of your favorites to perform, you're saying? Definitely, bro. Definitely. I like screaming at people's faces. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can stump you right here on this Batman Forever trivia, which I think is a first for us on this particular Batman. After Dick saves Batman, he says, hey, I need a name. I don't know. What do you think? What's a good sidekick name? But he mentions two possible suggestions for his sidekick name. What are the two? Uh, and, uh, what was the first one? Cardinal. And... Uh, what is it? Nightwing? I'm going to give you one more chance. Cardinal's not correct, but Nightwing is one of the two. Uh, fuck. Okay. Uh, oh, damn. What do you say? Was it Red Hood? That is a stump, my friend. Uh, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is Bat Boy and Nightwing. Don't worry, I'm still going to do the pepper and the hot sauce with you, but please enjoy the hot sauce real quick. I'm sorry, the uh, Tabasco Tabasco pepper? What kind of pepper you say it was? Tabasco pepper, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tobacco. Tabas yeah, Tabasco pepper. Tabasco pepper. Yeah, so I'm going to do a chili ghost pepper hot sauce on the yellow pepper, and uh, somehow we got to continue this uh this interview all we're suffering that's the point of it here we go cheers <laughs> mm. it's got a little sting on it yeah it does it's a whole bitch mm. <sighs> Whew. i know you mentioned jared of head pe maybe of, of the feature a little bit expensive but uh Who's some other people that you that you'd like to have on a, on a White Owl record in the future? Let's just pretend money don't matter. Money don't matter. Mm -hmm. I imagine uh, twisted, but let's go beyond all that. Somebody, maybe somebody I wouldn't expect outside the hip hop genre. Uh, outside of the hip hop genre. Outside. Um. I'm not sure what his name is now because they changed so many. So they've changed so much over the years. But uh, the uh, one of the singers from Mushroom Head, okay, I think is Waylon. Yeah, I think Waylon is is like the main one. I think. Oh, uh, it was the guy's got the deeper deeper voice. Okay. You know who I'm talking about? I don't know his name off the top of my head, but I've seen Mushroom Head a couple of times. It was like eight or nine of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, not the current guy. It's a oh, it, J Man, J Man, fucking J Man. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I could do a track with J Man, oh, that would be amazing. So let's. Or say, hell yeah. Let's say uh, that the you are able to take the show on the road in the near future, uh, and now we're we're traveling outside of the states. Where is a particular country or place that that you'd prefer? that you'd want to play more than any other place? Australia. Why Australia? I agree yeah, with yeah. you, though, by the way. I'm, I'm trying to somehow visit Australia uh, next... A, a year and a half from now, I think. I'm trying to, like, plan it out ahead of time. Well, uh, for one, the, uh, there's a pretty big underground uh, rap scene out there. And uh, one of the artists... One of my favorite artists is in Australia... And if I was able to do a show out there, I would definitely try to get him on board with it. But his name's Kid Crusher, if you've ever you've ever heard of him. No, I've not heard of him. Kid Crusher? Yes, he's amazing. He is amazing. He I I've like he's not like my number one on inspiration, but I've I've been inspired by him quite a bit. When it comes to, to Ganja, Indica Sativa or Hybrid? <laughs> it don't matter as long as it's burning, bro. Let's go. <laughs> you want to get high? But, <laughs> can I can I, I rip the bong while you're hitting the blunt so we can say we smoked together one time? Fuck yeah, let's go, bro. Let's do it. 
right. Hell yeah, smoke it with white out one time. Let's go. Hell yeah. <laughs> it just feels it just feels right, you know what I mean? Uh let's try one more Batman trivia. <laughs> In Batman Forever, who actually destroys the Bat Cave? Uh, Who you say? The Riddler. That is correct. The Riddler does destroy it. Even though Two Face is in there, the Riddler is the one who blows it up with the little green bat-shaped bombs with the questions on them. Why now, dude? You won the hat. Hey, that's what's up, man. You just won the hat. Throw What did you say? Throw it on here too? No, I'm going to wear that hat at my next show, man. Word. Hell yeah, I'm going to write this down. Hit me. I'm going to hit you up or, or vice versa on Instagram after the show, and I'm going to send you some cool stuff, dude. Hey, that's a bet, bro. Let's go. Congrats, man. That is awesome. Uh, if if uh, I like to ask this one too. Uh, there's, there's like a couple of common questions I ask almost every guest, but they're, they're like important to me. One being... Uh, if, if, I don't know why this isn't important to me, but if for some reason a label comes along, gives you all the money you could ever ask for, you, you can't, you can't spend it on your family. You can't buy a new house and you can't buy more gear. Is there something that you've always wanted, but now you just have so much money. You could, it's, you could buy 10 of those things. Uh, it could be a toy that you wanted as a kid, but it was a hundred grand toy. It could be, it could be anything. Wait, what do you mean by gear? When you say you can't get gear, like you like, can't you can't like spend a million dollars on like a badass studio. That's that's a common answer. That would be my first go to. Okay, yeah. Um... <laughs> Fucking uh... <laughs> guns. <laughs> guns. Yes. All right. Hell yeah. Second uh, Amendment, baby. Yeah. Or, or... <laughs> Wait, no, I, I, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. Um, if I Remind money, it. I, I'd pay off all the politicians to legalize that shit. For so sure. Is it is it is this not 100% legal in your state? Not 100% yet. Yeah. It's, it's a, like, it's, I feel like it's been, it's taken like 20 years to friggin' completely 100% federally legally all 50 states. Yeah, it's like I mean, every year we get one more state. <laughs> that, it's like it, nobody really cares anymore, anyways. Right? Like, even the <laughs> care. <laughs> it's just you're not supposed to do it. Like just take it, throw it on the ground, and get out of your asshole. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, hell yeah. We got time for for a couple more questions. Uh, is there is there being that you were in a previous rock band and and have been making music for a while? Is there a mistake that you see? local artists make that's just something that uh maybe it was a mistake you did earlier in your career that you don't want somebody to make this same mistake oh man i see it all the time and i try to tell people but sometimes when they don't want to listen i mean there ain't really much you can do but it's listen to other people listen to other people's advice criticism whatever it is listen to it Take it to heart if you want to. Be mad about it if you want to. But listen to it and, and you know, reflect on it and try to, if if somebody's got a problem with something that you're doing, you're missing out on the fan. So try to fix that, you know. if, uh, if a pro- Even if a producer's like, hey, if that, I don't like that word like that. You need to change it. Like, don't have an ego and be like, oh, this is my artwork. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it's their artwork too, and they're trying to help you you know, they're trying to collab with you and make better artwork. That's all it is. That's all anybody ever does is try to help you with advice. So, you know, that's my thing. Like, I never heard anybody word it the way that you just worded it. And I think that's genius. It's also the producer's art too. Like a lot of, a lot of people don't realize that, that it's, it's, it's the artist's song, but the production is equally as important. And I love how you just worded that. Yeah, man. I mean, if he, if, if the, if the, I mean, put it this way: if you want, if you want somebody to build a house and you just give them hammer and nails, it's gonna 
probably going to be a shitty house. Right. You know, but if you, if you give him what he needs, then you're going to have a pretty fantastic house. Yeah, this is, this is great advice for sure. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. I got a couple more for you. These are just some fun ones though. Uh, do you play video games? And if so, I, I seen the Mortal Kombat in the background of, of uh, already did it, but what are the three best video games ever made? Uh, I'd have to say uh, Mortal Kombat, of course. Uh, Gears of War, the whole franchise, and then God of War. In that order? Yes. Hell yeah, good call. And then my last question is, let's say uh, Twisted says, hey, we want you to do a couple more shows, except these are some big ones, and then it, and it happens to be like uh, like Juggalo Fest, the gatherings, or any anything just massive like that, and we're talking, you know, like 10,000 deep. You just crushed it, walking off the stage. For some reason, this particular food service has every food item you could ever want. What is your ultimate munchy meal that night? Oh, munchy meal? Because you're burning heavy after after this this particular show. And then now it's time to grub. This is the number one white owl meal right here. What is that? Chocolate chip cookies. I'm basic as For fuck. real? Chocolate yeah, chip cookies? Basic as fuck, bro. You can give me a look. The Chips Ahoy, Chewy, the Red Pack. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. Bro, you get that red pack. You give me that. <laughs> you get the red pack. Shit. Uh, fuck, done with. <laughs> Hell yeah! These are I can't share any. They're all gone. <laughs> Sitting too. <laughs> that is awesome. Hell yeah! Uh, well, well, dude, I appreciate your time, man. Thanks for thanks for smoking with me. Thanks for being just a cool down to earth, awesome homie. And uh, I wish you nothing but success, man. I look forward to the new single and video coming out soon. Uh, keep playing shows somehow if possible. Come over to California. I'll do my best to come out and support and bring some people and uh, show some love. And uh, I'll get you that hat f here fairly soon. But uh, other yeah. than that, brother, cheers and have a fantastic evening. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys be easy, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, White O! Give me a hell yeah. Let's go. I had a delay on the button for a second, but... Smoke out.